Hey, it's Pam Brosman here, and in this week's tutorial, um, as promised to some of my students who are authors, but this tool can be used for so many other things, and you can decide how best to use it in your business. It's called a Notebook LM. It's a Google tool. All you need is a Google account to be able to use it for free. I'll just read quickly what it says here that it does. It is an AI tool. You can upload PDFs, websites, YouTube videos, audio files, Google Docs, or Google Slides, and Notebook LM will summarize them and make interesting connections between topics all powered by Gemini. But that's not the main thing. That's what it started out being. And then recently they just launched this new tool that actually turns it into a audio generated file of two people giving their comments or review on whatever it is you upload. So I recently uploaded a introduction of my latest number one bestseller and I was blown away at how many different ways that you can use it. But I think the easiest way for me to show you is just to demonstrate it. So let's go straight across. I'm going to go over to my book. So all you've got to do, I will put the link. It's notebook lm.google, that's the website, but I'll put the link below for you to go and have a play with it, but you do have to have a Google account, which just about everybody has, all right, to be able to use it, then it's super free. So once you get there, you're going to come to this website page, and then you're going to click Try Notebook LM. So you click on that, and it'll automatically open up your Google account. So if you've got a Google email address, then you definitely have a Google account. So then what you want to do is you want to come down here and you want to click on Create. Now, at this point in time, you get to create 50. I deleted my other one because it was just an example, and I wanted to be able to do this from scratch with you. So I have got a copy of my number one bestseller called Ditch Your Doubt, and I'm going to take chapter one and I'm going to paste it in to this notebook LM and then I'm going to turn it into a, a document where then the audio is going to turn it into a podcast. Now at this point in time there's only two voices. There's a male voice and a female voice and they interact together but I do believe as it evolves there will be more voices. So that's just one of the things that people are saying about it but when you hear it you'll be blown away like I was. So, so cool. And then stay to the end and I'm going to show you how you can take the audio and then start using it as a marketing tool uh, for your books, for your blog posts, for your speaking gigs, whatever it is that you want to use it for. So let's click on create and then it's going to take you into your account and then it says here you can upload your source sources. So if you wanted them to do an overview on a YouTube, say maybe you've got your podcast already and maybe you interviewed someone or it's just you on your podcast and your podcast is on YouTube, you can share a link. You can use your website, so if you've got a blog post, you can use Google Docs, you can use Google Slides, but the one I'm going to do here is copied text. So I've copied the text from my book and now I'm going to put it in here and then go there. Okay, so now it's copied everything in and it's got the beginning, digital doubt, solar success habits, it's got my name and everything. So last time I forgot to put my name and the name of the book at the beginning. So when they did the podcast, they never mentioned me or the title of the book. All right, so that's really, really important. And then you go insert. And then it creates all these different sources. So it creates a summary of the excerpt. You can turn it into a study guide, table of contents, a briefing document, a timeline, an FAQ. But what we're going to play with today is we want to turn it into a deep dive conversation. This is what they're calling a podcast, where they have two American voices, one male, one female, and they're going to give their interpretation of the content that you have uploaded. And then I have to click on generate and then it will turn it into a podcast and then you can download it and then that's where I'll share with you the different ways that you can edit it and listen to it and play with it. So I've uploaded mine to YouTube, I've put it on Pinterest, I've put it as a reel, I've put it as a story, I've shared it everywhere and actually while this is generating I'll show you how I'm using this in my business to promote my book that's on Amazon. 
Okay, so you'll see here, these are actually quotes from my book, but you will see here that I have gone and turned this is my book, and if you play the audio, I'll stop talking and you may be able to hear it. Forward movement, yep. and get this, having fun throughout the process. Okay. And so she's all about like um, creating what she calls a success dictionary. What is that? And so, you know, it's like taking those negative self talk so this is what we're generating at the moment while I'm showing you this. This was the first one I did, which was my introduction. So you get two speakers who are going to give their view or review of whatever it is that you uploaded. And it's not exactly what's in the book. It's their interpretation of what they've scanned with the AI tool in the book, and then they regurgitate it to make people think, oh, this is fantastic. So it's almost like somebody being reviewed on a Today Show or some sort of talkback show about your own book or your own event that's coming up or your own course or a product or there's so many different ways. I'm so excited about how I'm going to use it. But I, I think for authors, this is going to be huge. But you can use it. People are using it for so many different ways to monetize it in their business. So what I did is I just up uploaded the audio into Canva, put some images to it, I edited it, and then I could just take a snippet of it. So if I wanted it to be a story, I made it less than 60 seconds. But now that you can do four uh, shorts on YouTube, you can now do three minutes. So I did a three minute segment to put on YouTube. And then when it was on YouTube, I pinned it to Pinterest. And then you can even embed it on your blog if you want to and send it out to your email list. There's just so many different ways that you can use it. Here's an example of how I've put it on YouTube. Uh, now, this is not the topic that I do for my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is all about Canva, so I'm not expecting huge view, uh, views on this topic because this topic has nothing to do with Canva. You can just see how easy it is. I took quotes out of the book. I added some photographs to it. So there's so many different ways that in Canva you can just upload the audio, put imagery to it, whether it's quotes from the books, whether it's just AI images, whether it's you. Um, it's totally up to you what you want Alrighty, so now it's finished. It's 15 minutes long, so that's quite long. So what I would do is I probably wouldn't put the whole 15 minutes. If you have a podcast and use your YouTube channel for a podcast, then you could put the whole 15 minutes up there. But what I like to do is, is I'm just going to take snippets throughout the whole conversation, break it up so that I can schedule in a whole lot of stories, I can schedule in a whole lot of shorts, and I can upload it to Pinterest, and I can put it, I don't have a blog, but I can just share it out in my newsletter. So that's how I'm going to be just planting little Google seeds all over the internet for people to find and then redirect them to go and grab my book on Amazon. So that's how I'm using it. So once it's finished, you can just go and click on the three dots and download it and then upload it into Canva. If you want me to do another tutorial on how to be able to edit your videos and create the audio into a video on Canva, let me know below and I'll be more than happy to shoot another video. But go and have a play. I've got the link below. It's super, super cool and I can't wait to see what you create with this new tool. Enjoy. We're talking about how to build an unshakable mindset for success. A dynamo mindset, as our source material puts it. Exactly. And to guide us, we'll be exploring Pam Brosman's book, Ditch Your Doubt, Solopreneur Success Habits for Women. Right. Now, I know what you might be thinking, another book about self-confidence, but trust me, this one goes way deeper. Way deeper. Brosman has a really fresh perspective, especially when it comes to the unique challenges women entrepreneurs often face. It's not just about putting on a brave face or using affirmations. She goes beyond the surface level advice and really digs into the nitty gritty of cultivating genuine self-belief. So let's dive right in. One of the things that really struck me in the book is Brosman's distinction between self-confidence and self-belief. She argues that outward confidence doesn't always translate into true inner belief. You know, you can appear confident on the outside, but still struggle with those nagging doubts on the inside. This resonates so much with what we see in the real world, especially among high achievers. 